Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about the Easter candle, which is right behind me. Um, this candle has so many points of symbolism and we use it so frequently that I thought I would share a couple of cool things about it. Now, every year at the Easter Vigil, um, we get a new Easter candle and that's the first time that it's lit. And this candle is used throughout the Easter season and during every single baptism and during funerals. Now, the reason it's used in baptism is to remind us that that soul has now come into God's life and has the light of Christ within them. We light the candle at funerals as a reminder that there is hope and that that soul has been made for eternal life. This candle's also lit every day during the liturgies of the 50 days of the Easter season. So every Sunday during the Easter season, this candle will be lit. Um, the other really cool thing about this candle is that the church asks that it be made predominantly out of beeswax instead of other like synthetic materials. And the reason for this is that um, bees and honey are actually a symbol of eternal life. You know, if you think about honey, it doesn't go bad. It, it kind of lasts forever. And so this candle is to help remind us that we are made for eternal life. Um, there's some other symbols on here. There's always a crucifix on the Easter candle. And every year during the Easter vigil, the priest will put five nails into the cross, and that's to symbolize the five wounds of Christ. Then there's also always an alpha and omega, the Greek words for beginning and end, showing that Christ is the beginning and the end. Then there's also always the date, the year that this candle um, is being used. Um, so this candle is just an awesome symbol for us um, to remember that we're made for eternal life, that Jesus died on the cross to forgive us of our sins, and that through his resurrection, we have the promise of eternal life. So um, next time you see the Easter candle, um, you can admire its beauty and remember that you're made for eternal life and that God wants you to be happy in heaven with him forever. Um, but if you guys uh, have any requests for a video about a certain topic, feel free to shoot me an email or um, write a comment below in the video, and I'd be happy uh, to see what I can do. Um, but until next time, I hope you guys have a great day and uh, stay healthy.